today so we are going to start c language c language so before going to discuss about uh, c language nothing but before going to learn one programming language first of all uh, two basic questions that every programmer should understand and of course we should answer so first one is a uh, what is language what is language and second one what is computer language because we are going to learn a language so first of all we should know what is a language and what is computer language so what is a language means is a simple thing a language is nothing but a, a set of instructions so generally if you take english language telugu language hindi language so generally languages we are using to communicate if you want to communicate with another person we are passing instructions using a particular language but while using a language we need to follow some of the instructions some rules already they have given sir what are the rules for example if i want to speak in english i just want to form a sentence to form a sentence first we should be good grammatically we know that generally or else we cannot form a sentence we can't speak in english language right in the same way so computer language is also for communication sake only that is actually why computer language is to communicate with a computer but simply if they ask what is a computer language it is also a set of instructions simply set of programs set of programs so that will give an application application to understand easily it's a software a computer language is a software a computer language is a predefined application right using computer language so what we will do so means we will communicate with the systems right we will communicate with uh, some other electronic devices in this world so that is actually need of computer language what is the need of computer language here need see just consider one person is present generally in this world only one process is there that is called communication right here it is i am teaching right nothing but i am communicating with you people right if you want to ask any question any query you want to pass then you should communicate with me right i am working i means what i am communicating with my bike i just want to travel from one location to another location i am communicating with my mother and i am communicating with my father some reasons are there a particular purpose is there so communication means something you are getting right so if one person so want to communicate with another person generally they have to share information information is nothing but passing instructions for general communication they are using general languages like english telugu hindi all these languages they will use all these languages but now here the person want to communicate with a machine any electronic machine just consider computer the person want to communicate with the machine sir question why sir 
why the person want to communicate with the machine simple thing just consider here it is i am asking the question what is the phi factorial everyone can answer easily it's a 120 right it's a simple calculation right 120 suppose if my next question is what is 120 factorial no one can answer no one because it's a bit complex operation it's a bit complex operation so directly instantly we can't tell if i give some time to you so then within that time you can calculate and we will but instead of performing complex operations manually it is better to interact with a electronic device example take calci so using calculator whatever the number you give as an input fraction of seconds you will get the output right so that is so complex operations it is better to perform manually right so here but the problem is we need to pass instructions in a machine code only if i want to communicate with you i am teaching something to you why i am using english language because all you people understand english language very easily so that is the only reason i am using english language in the same way if the person want to communicate with the computer the person need to pass instructions in a machine code only in a computer understandable language only so what computer understands binary language computer understands binary language can anyone pass instructions in a binary language impossible we cannot write applications right in a binary language it's very complex so that's why first you have to learn one programming language properly right see using using any programming language so many examples c c++ java dot net all these are programming languages like a uh, high level languages first you have to learn one programming language all the rules right how to define the instruction set how to write programs everything you should learn perfectly right so once you are perfect in one programming language right you should be perfect why the reason suppose if i am perfect in english language so then only i can interact with you in english language in the same way if you want to communicate with the computer using c language first you should learn perfectly c language after learning language we are writing programs writing writing programs right so programs means a set of instructions a equals to 10 b equals to 20 c equals to a plus b and just we are printing c it's a program a simple program i have written addition of two numbers sir i don't know how to write the program just leave it forget about it this is not the program just looking like a english instruction set it's not a c language it's not a c plus plus right so programming language instructions looking like a english statements only we are taking two variables nothing but two values and we are adding and printing simple this is what we called a source code source code but once a source code is ready nothing but once your program is ready using that program directly we cannot communicate with the computer it will reject 
सर वाई सर ऑलरेडी प्रोग्राम रिटर्न ना यूजिंग प्रोग्रामिंग लैंग्वेज यस बट वॉट ऑल द इंस्ट्रक्शन यू हैव रिटर्न सो दैट इज इन इंग्लिश लैंग्वेज कंप्यूटर कैनॉट अंडरस्टैंड इंग्लिश कंप्यूटर अंडरस्टैंड ओनली बाइनरी लैंग्वेज दैट इज वन एंड जीरो ओनली सर देन वॉट वी शुड डू हाउ कैन वी कन्वर्ट दैट इंग्लिश इंस्ट्रक्शन सेट इन टू बाइनरी लैंग्वेज ऑलरेडी दे हैव गिवेन वन प्रोग्राम फॉर अस द प्रोग्राम नेम इज कॉल्ड कंपाइलर प्रोग्राम नेम इज कॉल्ड कंपाइलर दिस इज अ प्री डिफाइंड प्रोग्राम सॉफ्टवेयर दैट वाज ऑलरेडी रेडी सो वी शुड टेक केयर अबाउट द कोड दैट व्हाट यू हैव रिटर्न we are responsible for conversion compilers already available so what compiler will do means that converts all these instructions into binary language same instructions will convert into binary language now machine code is ready so once machine code is ready so that you can pass as an input to the computer so that computer will produce the output this is actually the process of communication with the computer directly we cannot communicate with the computer why we are communicating means to perform complex operations in an easy way imagine ATM facility is not available. I just want to withdraw some amount of money from my account. How difficult it is, right? So it's a long process. First, I have to visit the bank, and then uh, so much process I have to complete. Finally, I'll get the money, right? Suppose if availability machine availability is there. right within 1 minute or 2 minutes you will get wherever you are in this world right you will get the money so machines always makes our task very easy so that is the only reason we are communicating with the machines right so but direct communication is not allowed because we cannot pass instructions in a binary language so first we have to learn one language after learning the language right we are writing programs and then converting into binary instruction set using compiler and then communication so that is why after writing the program sir why compilation is required this is the only reason behind that so this is why right we are using compiler what is an interface what is an interface for example here the communication process we have already seen communication process in some of the cases right if you want to interact with the machine no need to become a programmer right just consider i want to perform a money transaction from the atm is it necessary to become a c programmer is it necessary to become a java programmer is it necessary to become a dot net programmer no not required right so not required simply in some of the cases as an end user also you can communicate with the machine how that is possible see so i am not the programmer but i want to interact with the machine to perform a particular task so what we should do see here suppose so this person is a programmer consider programmer so in this world along with the programmer one more person is present the person is called end user our client we always working for our clients only we always working for end users only we are developing applications for end users only here 
programmers provides interfaces interface sir what is interface just consider it's an application atm application only simple definition of interface we know operating system is an interface right that is just working like a mediator between the programmer I mean end user and as well as a background application interface means without having the background details we can perform our task see just consider end user end user end user want to perform one atm transaction so can communicate can communicate using interfaces how whenever end user enters into this atm center on the screen it will give one message so what is that message choose one language and here it is a number of options it will give english telugu hindi options it will give so for example end user understands english end user click on english then all the instructions will come in english language only so what is happening in the background is not required for the end user nothing but whenever the end user enter their pin number right or end user whenever enters how much amount they want to withdraw how it is communicating with a server machine how it is communicating with a server machine how it is communicating with a database machine that is not required to the end user what is happening in the background is not required for the end user for example so we are driving a car we just want to increase the speed of the car we will accelerate generally so whenever we accelerate and accelerate the speed will increase automatically but what is happening in the background we don't know and of course that is not required for the driver just speed is increasing or not that's it if speed is not increasing properly so then directly so we are communicating with another person so who is called a mechanic so here suppose if end user trying to perform the transaction from the atm if the transaction is successful so then the end user leave the atm center with the money for any reason if transaction has failed then end user directly contact the bank management and the bank management contact a programmer because programmer providing interface programmer providing interface so here as a programmer we are not communicating with the machines just we are developing applications nothing but we are providing interfaces by which every end user can easily interact with the machine so that is our motto right so this is about uh, what is a language what is computer language what is the need of computer language so finally the main purpose of computer language is developing applications by which end users communicate with the machines